Hi students, this is Viswanath Chemistry Faculty for NEET and IIT exams. Now see the numericals related to CP and CV and these questions are given in previous IIT exams. See this one. 70 calorie of heat is required to raise the temperature of 2 moles of an ideal gas at constant pressure from 40 degrees Celsius to 45 degrees Celsius. Find the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of the same gas through the same range at constant volume. So at constant pressure to increase the temperature heat energy is given. At the same temperature at constant volume if we want to raise the temperature then what is the amount of heat required. So given T1 equal to 40 degrees Celsius, T2 45 degrees Celsius, number of moles 2, delta T equal to T2 minus T1, 45 minus 40 that is 5. Heat supplied at constant pressure, Qp equal to N into Cp into delta T, it is 70 calorie, substitute number of moles 2, Cp, we should calculate delta t 5 so cp equal to 7 calorie mole inverse kelvin inverse now we know that for n number of moles of the gas cp minus cv equal to n or cp 7 minus cv into number of moles 2 real universal gas constant r equal to it is given 2 calorie mole inverse kelvin inverse substitute that value from this we can get cv 3 calorie mole inverse kelvin inverse now QV we should find out heat supplied at constant volume QV equal to N into CV into delta T number of moles 2 CV 3 delta T 5 30 calorie. So hence the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of the same gas through the same range at constant volume is 30 calorie. Okay. See the next one. If molar heat of an ideal gas at constant pressure and constant volume is Cp and Cv respectively, if R is the universal gas constant and the ratio of Cp to Cv is gamma, then Cv equal to, okay, simple thing, Cp and Cv ratio is gamma, it is given in the question, from this, we can write Cp equal to gamma into Cv. Now take this relation Cp minus Cv equal to ga or in place of Cp can we write this one. So substitute this gamma into Cv minus Cv equal, equal to R. By taking Cv as common we can get Cv into gamma minus 1 equal to R Cv equal to R divided by gamma minus 1. So, what is the option? Option D is the answer. Okay. See this, option D is the answer. Now, next one. 2 moles of helium gas is in rubber balloon at 30 degrees Celsius. The balloon is fully expandable can be assumed to require no heat energy in its expansion. The temperature of the gas in the balloon is slowly changed to 35 degrees Celsius. The amount of heat required in raising the temperature is nearly R value is given 8.31 Joule mole inverse Kelvin inverse. So this question is given in IIT 2012 exam. Okay. Say this. The pressure inside the balloon is equal to. The pressure inside the balloon is equal to the constant ambient pressure. Because balloon is fully expandable. Thus given process is isobaric. Isobaric means. At constant pressure, a particular process takes place that is called isobaric. Here also, balloon can expand fully. That means pressure inside the balloon 
is equal to the constant ambient pressure constant atmospheric pressure so heat exchanged in this process is given by delta q equal to n into cp into delta t here helium is a monoatomic gas so what is the degrees of freedom for monoatomic gas 3 that means f equal to 3 thus cv equal to f by 2 into r that is 3r by 2 cp equal to cv plus r finally we can get cp equal to 5r by 2 from equation 1 from this delta q we have to find out delta q equal to substitute the values number of moles 2 cp value this one r value R value how much 5 by 2 R means 8.31 so substitute that value into delta T 35 minus 30 that is 207.7 .7, nearly equal to 208 joules so delta Q equal to 208 joules so what is the option option D is the answer very simple but you have to understand given question carefully then only you can do this question next iit 2009 question cvcp denotes the molar specific heat capacities of a gas at constant volume and constant pressure respectively then four conditions are given we should find out correct one okay cp minus cv cp plus cv cp divided by cv cp into cv okay see this explanation and then we will see the options the molar heat capacities of an ideal gas having f degrees of freedom are given by cv equal to f by 2 into r cp equal to cv plus r so finally we can get this one cv means this substitute here we can get cp equal to r into f plus 2 divided by okay now we should calculate for <coughs> cp minus cv we should calculate cp minus cv cp plus cv for diatomic gas and monoatomic gas and cp divided by cv cp into cv these four values we should calculate for diatomic gas and monoatomic gas first for monoatomic gas, monoatomic ideal gas, degrees of freedom 3, that means F equal to 3. Cp minus Cv equal to R. Cp plus Cv. Cp means 5R by 2. Cv means 3R by 2. Finally, we can get 4R. Cp divided by Cv, 5R by 2 by 3R by 2, that equal to 1.6. Cp into Cv, that is multiply these two values we can get 15 r square by 4 so these four are related to monoatomic ideal gas similarly for diatomic ideal gas we should calculate see this one for diatomic ideal gas degrees of freedom equal to 5 cp equal to 7 r by 2 cv 5 r by 2 cp minus cv equal to r cp plus cv add these two we can get 6 or cp divided by cv we can get 1.4 cp into cv we can get 35 into r squared by 4 now these four cp minus cv cp plus cv cp divided by cv and cp into cv are related to diatomic ideal gas compare these four values for monoatomic and diatomic then we can get correct option for monoatomic cp minus cv or diatomic also same cp plus cv for this 4 or for this 6 or that means cp plus cv is higher value for diatomic than monoatomic see the given option cp plus cv is larger for a diatomic ideal gas than for monoatomic ideal gas so option b correct option a wrong 
CP minus CV is the same for both ideal uh, diatomic and monoatomic but it is given CP minus CV is larger for diatomic ideal gas than monoatomic ideal gas that's why option A is wrong option B correct next CP divided by CV monoatomic 1.6 diatomic 1.4 this value is larger for monoatomic than diatomic. See this option C. Cp by Cv is larger for diatomic than monoatomic. That is wrong. Next. Cp into Cv. For monoatomic, its value 3 point something. If we divide this one, we can get 3 point something into R square. But here we can get 8 point something into R square. So, for a diatomic, Cp into Cv value is larger than monoatomic. See the options. Cp into Cv is larger for a diatomic ideal gas than for monoatomic. This is correct. So, correct answers are B and D. Okay, students, practice well. We'll meet you in the next class.